Hi everyone, welcome to a Sims 4 speed creator sim video. I love watching these videos so I couldn't wait to make my own and I thought why not start with one of my original characters from the book that I'm writing and this is Ting Li. I love her so much. She's one of my favourite characters that I've ever created and although she's not the protagonist in my story, don't get me wrong, she is the main character, okay? She just gives off strong main character energy. She is that girl, okay? <laughs> she is that bitch. But anyway, here I am just applying some skin details. Um, and I did do her face off camera because I really wanted her to fit my vision um, of, you know, what I feel she looks like in my head. And I was struggling, okay? And I just thought that would not be very interesting to watch. But I tried my best and that's what counts. And in the end, she turned out pretty cute. But anyway, I'll tell you a bit about her. So. Ting was born in Taiwan uh, and she moved to England with her uncle and her younger brother when she was 10 years old. They do live in the south of England, you know, countryside, nice house, surrounded by fields and trees, um, but she's just never really adjusted to that life. She is a city girl at heart, you know, born in Taiwan. She loved the, the busy cities and crowds and she's very much an extrovert, so she just does struggle living in such a quiet town. So that is why when her uncle goes to London to work, he does commute there every day, pretty much. Um, and occasionally, you know, she'll hop on the train with him and wander around London. I imagine she likes, you know, walking around Chinatown and Oxford Street. <laughs> Chinatown's my favorite place in London. So I kind of took inspiration from that, I suppose. But yeah, I, I just love her so much. But anyway, she is, very much a history lover. She loves history, she loves learning and knowledge, and she is off to uni, not too far away. She's 18, so you know, she's she's prepared for the next chapter of her life, and she does want to study history. She wants to know everything she can possibly know about everything historical, which I realize is quite a big area, but you know, she's an ambitious girl, so if anyone can do it, she can. But anyway, here I am picking her hair, and I ended up choosing the one that just scrolled past. <laughs> You'll see it in a second. Um, this one with the low buns and the fringe. I love it so much. I wanted her hairstyle to feel kind of cute and styled, but I didn't want it to look super like fancy or put together. I wanted it to have this kind of messy girliness to it. Um, and I, I really love her hair. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I really love it. It's so cute. And I did give her a couple different hairstyles just to mix it up, you know, for some interest. But again, all of them are this kind of messy, girly style. And in the end, she turned out super cute. And as you can see, she is absolutely stunning. That was not my initial um, intention for her. In the book, she she is very much just an average looking girl. You know, she, she has not got crazy beauty she's not super unusual looking she's just like a very average average girl but that's what i really love about her you know i didn't want everything unique and exceptional about her to be what she looks like because i just think that is so boring and so irrelevant <laughs> to be honest i i really wanted everything spectacular about her to be her character and her s strength and her personality so you know, I, I did fail at making her just this kind of average looking girl. She is very, very pretty, um, but I guess I'm just too good at making Sims. You know, I I just have too much skill, but you know, in the end, she, she still fits the vibe. She is the vibe that I wanted her to have. So I think I did okay. <laughs> Here I'm just giving her some makeup. I kept it very casual. I wanted it to just be like accentuating her features rather than changing them. Um, she's not a girl that wears a lot of makeup. I imagine, you know, she'd put on some blush here and there, but she's not someone that cares a whole lot about um, things like, I was going to say fashion, but I don't mean fashion. I mean like, you know, makeup and super girly things. You know, she's not doing her hair in curls every morning. She's very much a kind of, you know, wake up 10 minutes before you have to leave. So she hasn't got time for all that, but she does dress in a very cute, like casual style, which I really loved. I did struggle to dress her, but in the end she came out perfect, chef's kiss. But anyway, she, in the book, she does go through, you know, character development. I would hope that all book characters would, um, you know, otherwise that'd be a pretty boring book, wouldn't it? But <laughs> she does go through some, some pretty big changes. At the start of the book, she is very confident, um, very strong, strong-willed. She has some anger issues, you know, she, she does struggle to control her temper and control her um, passion for things. And that is something that 
you know, can come to her detriment sometimes, but she just has a very strong sense of justice. She needs things to to be right and she she believes very strongly in her opinions and she fights very hard for them. And I think that that is a very admirable quality, but you know, sometimes she takes it a bit far. She can't just let things go or agree to disagree. No, she has to be right and she will fight till the end for what she believes in. Um, and throughout the book, she she kind of goes through some, I suppose, calming. <laughs> she she becomes a bit more chill, and that is because of the boy that she meets at the start of the book. Um, and that is my main character, Angus. He is the protagonist of my story, and he is very much the opposite of her. He is he is very laid back. He's calm. He's introverted. He he's not shy, but he is a bit socially awkward. Um, you know, he's going through some emotional stuff, I won't spoil it, but at the start of the book, you know, he, he kind of gets, his whole life gets turned upside down. So, you know, at the start of the book and kind of throughout the book, he, he is really struggling to come to terms with his new life and his new reality. Um, and Ting really helps him accept that because she's just got this air of like, everything's going to be fine and I'm going to sort it all. And her confidence and her... I suppose optimism, it really helps him and in turn he really helps her, you know, he shows her that it's okay to just let things go and it's okay to calm and take some breaths and you don't have to be rushing and rushing and aiming and striving for the next thing and the next thing, you know, it's okay to just be. You know, Ting's very ambitious, she's very, she's very much like, okay, next thing and now the next thing, she, she doesn't take any time to just breathe and he really helps her through that process. <laughs> I love, can you tell I love them so much? I love their friendship and let me make it very clear, there is nothing romantic between them. They are, you know, brother and sister almost. There is purely platonic. Wow, that's hard to say. Yeah, complete friendship, no romance. I don't plan for there to be any romance at all, um, even if I end up writing sequels, no. I want them to be just friends because I kind of really dislike books where you know, if there's two characters, one's a boy, one's a girl, they always end up in love and I just don't want that. I really want this to be about their emotional journeys um, and their growth, but also their journey together, you know, as they navigate their life and their changing life. You know, Ting's about to go off to university and the next stage of her life and Angus is really, you know, trying to come to terms with his new life and, and find his place in this world. Um, and they do that together and it's really beautiful in... I don't know. Was that a bit cheesy? It probably was a bit cheesy. But anyway, I need to talk more about The Sim, I suppose. Um, here's me just dressing her, giving her some cute outfits. And in my book, she is not short, but she's she's kind of solid and... What's the word? Like, stocky? I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> she's, she's a very solidly, solidly built girl. You know, she's... I didn't want her to be like tall and thin, you know, all main female characters, they're always super attractive and I just, I mean, I'm not saying that being thin is the only way to be attractive because I'm hot as fuck and I'm definitely not thin, but uh, I didn't want her to be the kind of typical supermodel girl because I just thought that would really, it just wouldn't make her feel authentic and I really want her character to feel real and to feel authentic. Um, so I kind of gave her a very authentic body. Her body is a realistic body that you would see on anyone walking down the street. You know, she she's not using Photoshop, she's not doing all that shit. You know, she's, she's just a very real girl and she's very just, I don't want to say average, I don't mean average. She's just very, very... Hmm, I can't think of the right word. I'll have to come back to that one. But anyway, yeah, her body, she's hot. That, you know, she she is, but and she knows it. But you know, I just wanted her to to have a very just chill chill vibes, chill vibes. Yeah, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Don't know if you can tell. I'm I'm losing my vocabulary. But anyway, we're almost done with her outfits. I hope you liked them. I've kind of been yapping away at you, so I don't know if you could even focus. But anyway. <laughs> There are all of her outfits and I'll do a little close up on her face as well. And I did some photos of her and Angus, so here they are. I 
hope you enjoyed this video. I did make Angus as well. His speed video will be coming out soon, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.